Welcome to Astrobix.com Astrology Webcasts. In this webcast, we will talk about the role and the importance of Moon in Vedic Astrology and we will also discuss the remedies related to Moon. Many stories are famous about the origin of Moon since the ages. Each story has its own significance. According to the most famous story, Moon is considered to be the son of Atri and Anusuya. Moon was married to Daksh Prajapati's 27 daughters. Nakshatras have been named on the 27 wives of Moon. Out of all his wives, Moon loved Rohini the most. His other wives complained to Daksha about this who cursed him. Due to this curse, Moon started melting. The earth also faced a lot of problems because of the destruction of the Moon. Lord Vishnu then organized a battle between the Devatas and the demons which gave rise to the Moon and Moon was then blessed with a boon according to which his size would increase for 15 days and then decrease for 15 days. Mankind has been affected by the Moon since the ages. Therefore, everything in our life is related to Moon in some manner. It is considered a watery planet in Vedic Astrology. Moon is the only natural satellite of Earth. Moon affects everyone when it is near Earth. Moon is also known as Nishapati as it lights up the whole Earth at night. Moon is also known by many other names like Indu, Kalanidhi, Chandra Dujraj, Nakshatrain, Mrigank, Mayank, Rakesh, Rajneesh, Vidhu, Som, Shashi, Shashank, Shashdhar, Himanshu, Tarapati and Taresh. According to Vedic Astrology, Moon is the Karak planet of the mind and the fourth house in the Kundali. Moon is also considered the Karak planet of rice, sugar crystals, kheer, ghee, white flowers, camphor, white fruits and other white objects. Moon is also the Karak planet of liquids. It is the Karak planet for pearl in gemstones and silver in metals. Moon is the Karak for winter season, ponds, queens and issues related to intelligence. Moon is considered to be neutral and restless. Hence, Moon is also the Karak planet for politeness, soft speech and generosity. If a person is born at night, Moon will be the Karak planet of mother, otherwise this right would be given to Venus. Moon provides auspicious and inauspicious results for the things which are controlled by it. These results will depend on the position of Moon in the Kundali. If Moon is in an auspicious position, or if it is the lord of an auspicious house, it will provide you auspicious results. Otherwise, it will give you inauspicious or unlucky results. In Vedic Astrology, each planet has its own sign or Swarashi, Muldrikon sign, Exalted sign and Debilitated sign. There are no arguments related to the categorization of these signs as they are known universally. If Moon is placed in Cancer, it is considered to be Moon's own sign or its Swarashi. Moon is considered to be auspicious in Swarashi or Cancer. Predictions of Moon are done differently for each sign. The placement of Moon in its own sign, Multricon sign, Exalted sign or Debilitated sign gives different results. If Moon is in Taurus in your Kundali from 0 to 3 degrees, it will be exalted. It is very strong in this position. Moon will be in its Multricon Rashi if it is in Taurus sign from 4 to 30 degrees. It will provide good results in this position too. It is considered to be very lucky if a planet is in its exalted sign. Similarly, it is considered to be very unlucky if a planet is in its debilitated sign. A planet never gives good results when it is in a debilitated sign. It will also not give good results even if it is the lord of an auspicious house but if it is in a debilitated sign. Moon is debilitated if it is in Scorpio from 0 to 3 degrees. There is a lack of confidence when Moon is debilitated in your Kundali. The mind might become restless and you may indulge in arguments with your elders and parents. In Vedic Astrology, all the planets have a relationship to each other. This relationship can be friendly, neutral or anemic. The natural friendships of the planets is called Nesargic Maitri. The natural enemies are called Nesargic Shatru. Moon is friendly for all planets but it provides neutral results for planets which consider it to be an enemy. Besides natural relationships, 
planets also have immediate relationships between them. This is known as Tatkalik Maitri. This depends on the position of planets in the Kundali. Moon will be friendly to the planets which are present three houses ahead and three houses backwards from its original position. A Panchata Kundali is formed on the basis of the Naisargik and Tatkalik Maitri which tells about the planets which are friends or enemies of Moon in totality. You will get auspicious or unlucky results based on the Panchata Kundali. For example, Mercury is the natural friend of Moon. If it is also the Tatkalik friend of Moon, then it will be considered very auspicious in the Panchata or combined Maitri. Moon is the basis for the transit of the planets and is considered the ascendant while analyzing the transits. You will gain respect if Moon is transiting in your Kundali in the ascendant from the Moon of your Kundali. This will also cure you from any of your diseases. Moon transiting in the third house will give you victory, money and patience. You will be able to defeat your enemies and win competitions when Moon transits into the sixth house. If Moon is in the seventh house, it will give you peace of mind, good food and happiness from the life partner. Moon may provide you with success when it is in the tenth house. When Moon transits into the eleventh house, it gives you a chance to spend time with your friends and family. These were the auspicious results of Moon. Now let's talk about the unlucky transits of Moon. When Moon transits in the second house from the Ascendant, it gives you eye problems and loss of money. Moon gives rise to quarrels among the close ones when it is in the fourth house. Moon creates a lot of problems in life when it transits through the fifth house. When it is in the eighth or the ninth house, it does not give too many auspicious results. It can give rise to fear, loss in business, arguments with sons, etc. When it is in the twelfth house, you may lose respect, money and work. You may also become depressed and hate your friends and family members for no reason. You should recite one of the mantras of Moon for 11,000 times if Moon is weak in your Kundali or Varsha Kundali. You should also chant these mantras when Moon is the lord of an inauspicious house. The chanting of these mantras should be started from the evening of a Monday during the Purnima of the Shukla Paksh. Dashant's Havan should be performed once the chant is complete. This means that 10% of the chant should be done during the Havan. You can also chant the mantras for 108 times daily. These mantras should be recited in the evening. You can strengthen Moon by worshipping Lord Shiva each day. You can also fast on Mondays to strengthen Moon. The fast should be started from a Monday falling in the Shukla Paksh. You should decide the number of fasts that you will keep and you should not use utensils made of glass on the day of the fast. You should donate rice, sugar crystals, sugar, heer, camphor, ghee, white flowers, white fruits, sweets etc. according to your capabilities and choice on Mondays. Thank you for watching this webcast. Visit astrobix.com for more free Vedic astrology and do check out our Vedic astrology Varshifal which will tell you how your next 12 months will be for you.